November saw an exceptionally wet spell of weather towards the end of the month, causing widespread disruption from flooding and landslips. Rainfall totals for the UK overall were 111% of the long-term average, and some areas had up to twice the whole month's normal rainfall amount in the space of a week. Despite the wet conditions, Northern Ireland and the northeast of Scotland saw drier conditions. Let's take a closer look at the weather throughout the month and some of your photos sent in through Facebook and Twitter. The beginning of the month saw low pressure systems which brought an unsettled wet and windy start. Showers or longer spells of rain affected parts on the 4th when a band of rain moved across southern England causing some flooding. There were also some colder nights, with minus 5.7 Celsius at Loch Glascarnock in the Highlands on the 1st and minus 5.3 Celsius recorded at Shap in Cumbria on the 4th. High pressure in the North Atlantic extended towards the British Isles in the second week, bringing a change to more settled weather with warmer conditions. Areas around Belfast saw temperatures reach 14 Celsius on the 12th and Kew Gardens in Greater London recorded 16.3 Celsius on the 13th. However, this was short-lived, being replaced by a very wet period for England as a succession of low-pressure systems developed in the Atlantic and moved across the UK. In this satellite and rainfall radar imagery, you can clearly see an active cold front crossing the country, with marked line convection that gave a brief spell of torrential rain. These are formed through the rapid rise of air, causing almost vertical convection, and it was notable that the wind ahead of it was very strong but felt calm as the line convection approached. Persistent rain affected many areas, and for England and Wales, this seven-day period was one of the wettest weeks in the last 50 years. In the space of 24 hours on the 25th, 88.4 millimetres of rain fell on Holne in Devon and a gust of 86 miles an hour was recorded at Capel Curig on the 22nd. The month ended with much more settled conditions, but it was significantly colder, and a temperature of minus 6.2 Celsius was recorded at Sennybridge in Powers on the 29th. We asked you to send us your pictures of November weather, and here are our favourite ones. Send us your photos of December weather on Facebook and Twitter, and you could feature in next month's summary video.